Well, it's very kind of you to come here and join our conference today. May I ask why you have come? I think I've already answered that question. I've just come because I'm an, well, a member of Greenpeace. And right. um, we've heard that the, this conference is about um, people who negate climate change. Right. Um, now, there has been climate change, hasn't there, for four billion years? <laughs> well, you tell me. I'm young. <laughs> right. Ah, that's a good answer. Um, that's a very good answer. Uh, can I ask you then, if there's been ch climate change for four billion years, mm -hmm. why are you against it now? Because, well, over the last... Well, let's say over the last 80 years, climate change has been really, really accelerating and we have a big problem now and we need to act very, very eagerly. Right. Now, the UN, in its calculations, shows that in all but the last 20 years, we could not have had any effect on the climate. It's a very recent effect that we might have had. So, given that there has been warming for 300 years, and only and 280 years, we could not have made any difference. Are you saying that in the last 20 years, we have suddenly done something that really changes the climate? Well, if you look at glaciers, if you look at the polar, at the, at the poles, and if you look at uh, weather changes, it's very, Let very obvious. Let me ask you about the, the poles. Are you saying that there has been any unusual melting of ice at the poles? I think so. And how do you know that? Because I'm reading reports, I'm hearing people talk, and I'm reading the press. Have you ever checked any of the data from the scientific institutions or in the learned literature directly? Well, I have checked the reports from, for instance, the reports from Greenpeace because they... they um and Greenpeace is a campaigning organisation, isn't it? What do you mean by campaigning organisation? Well, it's not a weather bureau, is it? No, of course not. No. So my question then is, why do you believe reports, whether from Greenpeace or anybody else, without having actually checked them? I mean, I've seen it because I'm from Norway, actually. I'm from Norway and I've seen glaciers 20 years ago and they much, were much bigger than they are now. And I see that fauna and flora is changing in Norway because of global warming. But this has been happening for four billion years as we agreed before. You will get changes sometimes towards cooling and sometimes towards warming. That's right, but it, it hasn't happened so quickly as over the past 20 years as I've observed it myself. I see. Let me ask you this question then. In the last... Ten years, how much has global temperature gone up? Um, 0 0.7 degrees. In the last ten years? No, in the last, not in the last. No, I'm asking about the last ten years. Um, well, I just have to guess. Guess? I would say 0 0.1 degrees. Right, it's actually gone down very slightly about 0.05 degrees. It's gone down for 10 years. In fact, it hasn't increased statistically significantly for 15 years out of the 20 years you were talking about. May I, may I ask a question? How, yes. do you, how do you know that? Because I take the data from the satellites and I then plot what is called the least squares linear regression trend, which means if you have a stochastic data set, one which jumps up and down, you can process it mathematically to show what its trend is over a given period. And over the last 15 years, there has been no statistically significant increase in temperature at all. Those are the facts. How do you react to those facts? I think it's, I mean, it's positive thinking, <laughs> quite honestly. You think it's good news? It's absolutely good news, yeah, if, if, you, if you tell me this and if this is true. Well, I can assure you that it is true because there will be no point in my lying to you because you could so easily check it for yourself. So my next question is, given that we haven't had any global warming for 15 years and we've had, in fact, cooling for the last nine years, why do you think it is so urgent that we should suddenly turn the cooling around or, or make the co cooling go still faster? Well, honestly, I have to check it first because before I, well, before I can approve of what you say. Right. Actually, I have to go. Would you also be surprised to learn that in the last 30 years, there has been virtually no change in the amount of sea ice in the world? I cannot believe it. 
When you say you cannot believe it, do you, is it for you a matter of faith that there has been a lot of ice melting in the North Pole and the South Pole? It is, actually. It's a matter of faith because I haven't been at the polls to, to check right. it myself. In that case, do you not think that it would be a good idea to check with, let us say, the University of Illinois, which keeps all the Arctic and Antarctic records? That would be an option, but it would also be a good idea to check the University of Tromsø, for example, who also checks the Arctic, Arctic um, movements. Right, but the University of Tromsø doesn't do what the University of Illinois does. What that does is it takes the Arctic and Antarctic sea ice extents and it plots a global sea ice extent, which you will be surprised to learn shows almost no change in 30 years. How do you react to that news? I doubt it. And why do you doubt it? <laughs> because I need to read it myself and I need to inform myself on, on your results or the results that you're, you're Let's telling me. Let's talk next about hurricanes then. Do you think there have been more and worse hurricanes in recent years? I believe so. And why do you believe so? Because I've read all about it and I mean Katrina... And where have you read about it? Well, in papers, in studies, in books. So it would surprise you to learn then that what the data show from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration is that there has been no increase in land falling Atlantic hurricanes on the United States coast for 150 years. You'll be surprised to learn that. It would be so lovely to believe it. It would be so great. Right, but very good. All of these facts I'm giving you, of course, you can check independently. And I'm not making any of this up. Why should I? So here is my next question. Were you aware that the combined frequency, duration, and intensity of all the hurricanes, typhoons, and tropical cyclones around the world reached its lowest point in 30 years just two months ago? I'm, I'm very surprised to hear that, yes. What is interesting to me is that you don't know any of the facts about the climate at all, and yet you are wanting to change it in a particular direction. Can you explain why? Okay, I think we're, talk we're talking a different planet. I mean, we're, we're t you're talking about a planet where global warming doesn't happen, and I'm talking about a planet where it certainly does happen. But forgive me, I talk about a planet where if I want to know whether global warming is happening or not, I check with the people who keep the actual data. I don't go to the newspapers or to Greenpeace. Why don't you go and check the actual data rather than believing, as a matter of faith, what is in fact a matter of science? But I have faith in organizations like, for instance, Why? Greenpeace. Why? And I don't have, I mean, I have, a, I have a private life as well, and I have a job life, and I don't have the time to check all, or to call the university of, which one was it? But well, if you want to check the, the Arctic and Antarctic ice rec records combined into a global ice anomaly, you go to the University of Illinois. There's a website called Cryosphere Today. It takes 10 minutes to look it up. Okay, so uh, so my, my concern here mm -hmm is that you are campaigning about something which, if you will forgive me, you appear to know absolutely nothing about. But I mean, the majority of the world and the scientists then in your eyes doesn't have anything or doesn't have a clue about what they're talking about. Is that when you what say you're the majority about? of scientists, how have you established what the majority of scientists think? Well, I'm reading papers and I'm, I'm listening to people who have something to say about global warming. So you warming. have not actually interviewed the majority of scientists? You have not seen any survey which has interviewed the majority of scientists? No, of course not. So you're guessing? <laughs> no, I'm not guessing. Well, once again, see, in the room where I have just been, there, there were something like 50 scientists, not one of whom believes one thing or another about science. They check. Because let me ask you this question. If you were to discover, if you were to discover that everything that I said to you about the climate, that we've had global, warming, uh, global cooling for nine years, that we have had uh, less hurricane activity recently than at any time in the last 30 years, that there has been no change in the extent of global sea ice, or virtually no change, for the last 30 years, would you think that therefore the organization that you believe in has misled you? No. 
In other words, even if I proved these things to you, you would still prefer to believe a political line given out by an organization rather than the scientific facts? No, I would have to take it for myself first, and then, then we should talk about this again. Right. Okay? Well, I would like to say I'm most grateful to you for having given me so much of your time. I do beg you not to believe either me or anyone else on this, but to do exactly as you've just said and check for yourself. And when you do, I think you will find that you are addressing a non-problem. Thank you very much. We will see. Thank you. What's your name again? My name is Christopher Monkton. Okay. And your name is? Talking to you, Christopher. Kirsten, Kirsten Blodig. Kirsten Blodig. Yes. Feel and down. <laughs> okay.